Horror movies, you either love them or hate them. I am a huge fan of these and I'm willing to give them almost any one of them a shot. Horror fans are generally forgiving people. We are willing to give anything a crack, you know, and a straight to DVD horror movie, it could be a nugget that get lost in amongst the slew of horror movies that get released. The latest one is Jackals starring Stephen Dorff, a guy I kind of like from several other movies I've seen him in, and directed by the man that brought us Saw 6 and Saw 7. The two worst entries, you know, kind of like 6, but Saw 7 or Saw 3D was an abomination in my eyes. It was a, a truly awful movie, one of the only Saw movies that I really actively dislike. And uh, with that in mind, I went into Jackals with an open mind and it's set in 1983. It has a really good premise. It is about this cult who this family have hired uh, uh, someone who can deprogram people to get their son back. And the movie opens right away with this kidnapping of their son back and they go to a cabin in the woods and they start this deprogramming procedure and then at night time turns out the cult have tracked them down and they are determined to get their brother back regardless of the carnage that they have to cause to get him back if it involves murdering everybody then that's just what they'll do you never really see the faces of the cult either they're always hidden by these really weird uh, animalistic masks that just kind of stand out and their silhouettes that you often see them in, it's quite a nice visual and it's something that really does kind of tantalise and add to the atmosphere of the movie. The opening scene of the movie uh, is a, a, a family member going back to his family and murdering everybody there with one of these weird masks on that gives you an idea of what this cult is asking these young kids to do. And you get some really good scenes, you get Stephen Dorff there playing this really kind of badass character who is obviously an ex-military person who has been deprogramming people and he, so he sets the ground rules for the family and starts to so break down this indoctrination that this guy has had. He, they've got him tied up in the house, he's acting out with himself, not the usual person that the family know and love and it, it really is such a good idea for a horror movie. You know, even the simplistic nature, just getting them to the cabin in the woods this way is something a little bit unique, something I haven't seen before. And even though it is primarily people in a cabin in the woods being murdered, it does have a nice slant to it in that way. So I was kind of in on the movie. And then I have some of the reactions of the people. There's the, the, kind of bo the, the, the brother who comes across kind of douchey but reacts in a realistic fashion. You know, uh, the way he just tells people off or, or swears at them or that. It feels kind of naturalistic, not the way that overwritten characters are. Just like a genuine guy, a genuine reaction. And the movie has a few of those throughout it. As the movie goes on, it begins to fall into familiar treads. And as Stephen Dorff's character gets sidelined more and more, the movie loses its interest. It, when it has this deprogrammer and this cult member sort of battling heads, it's very fun. Is very interesting, it's different and it feels fresh when it moves from that to the cult members attacking and Stephen Dorff's character being sidelined a little bit more, it becomes formulaic, it becomes tropey and things that we've seen done before, which is a shame because up until then I was really buying the atmosphere and I liked the characters and I liked how they were all interacting and I loved certain aspects of the movie. Unfortunately, the movie just ends. It ends on one of these atypical horror movie endings that just doesn't land quite right as being a, a, a great way to end this movie. So what you end up with is two thirds of a, of a good movie, a good horror movie that doesn't have that final third finale that you really need in the movie. I understand kind of what they're going for but I feel as if they've just sold themselves a little bit short in this one. The movie is under 80 minutes, it's really quick, it's missing a final 10 minutes. That really ramped up climactic end to this movie that would have left me going like, you know what, this is a gem to be found on home video, definitely worth picking up, definitely worth checking out. For me just now, it's good, it's interesting, it has some really nice ideas behind it that never really fully fledged out the way that they should have been.
still jackals if you're into these kind of movies is going to offer you a good night's nice entertainment if not somewhat forgettable night's nice entertainment i'd love to know your opinion on the movie let me know in the comment box below and i will see you next time on man versus film